think that I, we will be growing and improving through the entire season. Um, we need to get our serves over. You know, we have to do some of those basic fundamentals, and um, we didn't do that tonight. You know, so yeah, we we played a tough team, but it was a great opportunity to see what who if we're in the right spots. You know, if we're getting the stuff over and. Um, you know, we might make a few tweaks. We have we have some things. Um, we're just trying people in different positions right now, and it, that's just what we have to do. Right. So it's a it's a totally new team. Mm -hmm. Totally well, new team. With that, you do have some returning faces and some people that are stepping into much more prominent roles. Uh, mm -hmm. One that I thought was got well tonight was uh, Claire Collins serving. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that was a, a specialty item for you last year. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be far more of a reliance going into this season? Yes, Claire will probably be our, um, she'll be our libero, she will be a tough server, um, she's pretty consistent, um, but yeah, she will, I think she's probably going to take that role, be the leader in the back row. Is there a clear leader on this team at this point, or is that still being figured out? Um, I think that it's kind of... I would like to say that Carly's trying to be a leader on it. Um, attitude, you know, our goal tonight was successful attitudes, um, successful team, and so you know, not getting down and that type of thing. And um, so I was watching who was lifting girls up and that type of thing. And I think that um, Carly will be that, Bailey will be that, Hannah will be that, Claire will be that. I think we have a, a group of them, you know, that will be. Um, sharing in that role and trying their hardest to get Kelsey's attitudes up. So One of those moments that did seem to really lift the team, early on in Game 3, Madison had a huge block mm -hmm. that really seemed to kind of change mm -hmm. the tide around. How refreshing was it to see that your team could build off of momentum mm -hmm. and compete you know, for a big stretch of that game three. It was great. And, you know, our job was to celebrate all the little things. And so um, that's what we wanted to do, you know, um, getting a touch, getting something. And so I think that's great. You know, then we have to build on that. We have to learn that that momentum has to follow over. You know, where's your competitive nature? Where's your spirit? You know, let's roll this over. You know, don't just have a walk and then miss a serve, you know. So it's all learning. There's a lot of young ones on here, mm -hmm. a lot of young. At this point, is it still really focusing on just fundamentals and basics of the game? Uh huh. Basically, it is. I mean, we have three seniors, yeah. and um, one basic starter that you know has had varsity experience. I mean, Madison had some last year. Bailey and Hannah had a little bit last year, and Claire. But you know, Carly's really the only returning person that's played all the way around and had a lot of game experience. So, yeah, it's it's quite it's quite different. It's um, but you know what? A great opportunity to grow. Yeah. Um, it's a great opportunity to grow and it's a great opportunity to learn unity and you learn team. You know, there's no superstars out here. And so, um, you know, so we have to learn how to rely on everybody else and, and, and step up to the plate. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to do. Last question and I'll, I'll let you go. So now that uh, you have game one in the books, what are you looking to improve on for game two? Serving and passing. <laughs> Definitely serving and passing. We have some great servers and we just have to be consistent with them.